Hey guys, this is Trivi. And this is Milk. And we're bringing you episode 2, uh, WC of the Dungeon Before. That's right, this is a show where we are two manning every five man instance. Well, uh, mostly because we can. Pretty much all you need to know. So, uh, we're doing WC, and, uh, would you say you, uh, would you say you like this run overall? Honestly, no. I, <laughs> I hated this place. Like, I used to love this place, but then I tried two-manning it, and now I understand why it's a five-man yeah, dungeon. Yeah, it kind of gave us some problems at the start, didn't it? Yeah, um, just throwing this out there, to be honest, like, we did the first, like, five or, five or six pulls of the dungeon. Yeah. Maybe six times. Um, <laughs> there were two big things that kept throwing us up. There were druids, and there were raptors. Yeah, let's, let's talk about the raptors. So, the thing about the raptors is that, you know, they, they don't have any real special abilities. I think they do thunderclaps. But when they get to, I think, 20% health, they screech. And the thing about the screech is that, you know, they call for health and... Uh, Normally it's like a small radius, used to murlocs or something like that. Yes. Their screech, I want to say it's 35 or 40 yards. So that's... It will pull bosses, druids, more raptors... It can easily take a pull that's just about finished and add eight more mobs. It's it's not not so much fun at all. No, that that caused a lot of problems for us because we weren't really um, thinking about trying to move the raptors in a place where they wouldn't screech and pull more. Yeah, and the raptors were only incon like inconvenient at the beginning because that's the only place yeah. they really are. And then eventually we started, you know, just dragging them away. Yeah, what was really inconvenient were the druids. Oh, yeah, the druids were the hard part. Every druid in this instance, including the four bosses, has wrath, they have yeah. healing touch, yeah. so they can heal themselves and other people, and they also have sleep. Which uh, isn't just like a, oh, you're out for a couple seconds, it's 15, 20 seconds stun. And, uh, so why don't you go a little bit about the sleep? Well, the thing about the sleep is that uh, I don't exactly have a very lengthy time to live. So if I don't get heals, and if I don't continuously get heals, then I'm probably going to die. And since uh, since we're two-manning it, Milk is the only person that ever gets slept, unless I lose aggro, then I get slept. Um, since, since you know, my healer gets slept, I'm all on my own, I'm almost guaranteed to die if uh, things go bad. Yeah, so uh, one thing I did to counteract this was uh, I just kept my hots up on Tron the entire instance. And I really tried to stagger them. So that, uh, I mean, if they're staggered, if one of them runs out while I'm slept, the other one's still up, so he's still getting at least some heals. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it was just gave, giving him a little bit more of a grace period to not die. Yeah, and all of, all of this stuff, it ended up, you know, making, making a little bit of a difference. And uh, yeah. it allowed us to pull through... And uh, we we got we got better and better at it as we as we did it. But and then the other thing that we started playing with was the uh, line of sight. Oh mechanics. yeah, the line of sight was probably the biggest one. Oh probably. yeah, definitely. Like I would be hiding behind a pillar from the druids, but still able to see Tron. Or I'd play like peekaboo or hide and seek and just hide completely until I needed to like throw up another rejuve or another yeah, regrowth. It was beautiful. That way, I mean, like, I can't be slept if they can't see me. Yeah. I mean, they will, like, ag to me and run all the way around the pillar, but I can... And I, I can, mean, I can just snap aggro and pull them off of you. Yeah, so that made it a whole lot easier. That's not something that you can just, like, passively do. It's, like, actually, you have to think about it and implement it. Yeah. Challenging throughout the entire instance. Yeah, I, I really like that. I was, I was, uh, I was a little disappointed with VC, honestly, because of that. It was just, it, it was, was so easy. Too easy, we didn't have to do anything no. special. And then we were really caught off guard at the beginning. Yeah. But, like, we 
we got back on the ball. I mean, it's not like it's easy, but we just we got on top of the ball. Mm-hmm. Got all over that ball. Now, now that we told you about the druids and how much of uh, a pain in the neck they are, we equated them to a uh, being punched in the throat. Yes. So yes. yeah, we're gonna give you a little overview of the bosses. So yeah. they're. <laughs> there are four druid bosses. Four druid bosses, literally. They have the exact same ability as the other druids. Some of them have, like, an extra ability or two, but basically it's the same. Like Thorn's Aura. Yeah, Thorn's Aura. <laughs> which uh, <laughs> looks a lot like a pally spell, but it's Thorn's. So they're, they're just like the druids. They hit a little harder, have a little more health. Nothing special because they're by themselves, so... They're like Samuel from Heroes. Yeah, with more people around them... They get super powerful because, yeah. I mean, he takes more damage and we wipe. But if they're by themselves, it's kind of like, hey, <laughs> interrupt. I don't even need the Haitian for this. <laughs> Lol. Anywho. God, we are such nerds. So we've got four druid bosses, and then we've also got a turtle named Kresh. Uh, I would say that I stabbed him, and then I took his shell. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I mean, he drops... A shield, and that's all that's notable about him, besides that he patrols. So, actually, wasn't he like a wasn't he like a yellow turtle? Yeah, he's yellow. But I got a green shell from him. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. So then we've got a uh, then we've got a thunder lizard by um, the name of the thunder Scum. Lizard. And, thunder uh, lizard. Thundersaurus. Thundersaurus Rex. He looks like no, a stegosaurus. Not a thunder. There is no thundersaurus Rex. The what? Thundersaurus Rex. Okay, whatever. Just yeah. All right. He I'm doesn't. Fine. He does like a chain lightning. I think he might do an AOE thunder stomp or something. I don't know. I just ran in, smacked him. He died. He didn't really do anything special. Yeah. And then uh, one, the second to last boss, yeah. Verdan the Everliving. Verdan the Everliving. He he's notable. <laughs> like I could imagine fighting all three of the non druid bosses simultaneously, and they wouldn't be nearly as hard as Verdan. First of all, I'm going to say this. Do not be unprepared for this fight. He will hit like a truck. Okay, there are certain reasons why I did this, but uh, what I did was I made recounts record boss data as well as mob data. So um, I constantly have DPS chart, not damage done. I have DPS chart to see, you know, how hard each mob will hit me. So I can have, you know, kind of a sort of mental time to live going on. Yeah. Um... This boss hits twice as hard as every other mob in the dungeon, and I was not expecting this because, you know, normally you'd expect everything to be kind of consistent. No, this guy is twice as hard. But you fi- you figured it out pretty quick, so we were able to uh, take him down since you yeah just increased your healing output. Yep. So then, uh, he's down. We jump down a giant shaft, the, the miracle, miracle shaft. shaft. Oh, uh. wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, just gonna give a heads up. If you are a shaman, now is a great time to cast water walking on those annoying group members of yours. Uh, right before they jump or right as they're falling, just go ahead and just use it. It'll be fun. Okay. Alright, right. So then you go back to the beginning of the beginning of the instance. Very beginning. You talk to the disciple of Narlex and you start an escort. He gets ambushed a couple of times, no, but. Big deal. It's the raptors, but no big deal because you've already cleared out the entire area. Yeah, so the main issue with the raptors was that they would screech and pull ads, but they can't do that. Because there are no ads. There are no ads. Killed you killed them. So. You go to the final chamber where you see Narlex, the dreamer. So uh, there are three waves of enemies, two waves of trash, but... Uh, Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. You just gotta, you know, as a tank, just get some snap back row, thunder clap them down. They die very quickly. Yeah, and then um, the most horrific boss in the game. Um, I'm just going to say this right out. I didn't really get very far back into Vanilla WoW, but I played Vanilla WoW. I have a really healthy fear of Murlocs. Um, if you ever got to level 20 in Red Ridge, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, if you're Alliance side. Yeah, um, you get this quest to go ahead and get like 10 Murloc fins, you're like, oh, okay, I'll do it. And the next hour of your life, you just cry <laughs> as you die over and over Don't from these Murlocs. There needs to be like a like a public service announcement person just standing there saying, Don't do it! Yeah. <laughs> so, there's, so all of a sudden this giant, horrifyingly albino Murloc appears. And like... <laughs> He's the embodiment of the nightmare that Narlex is... In- enduring. Like, I'm gonna say, this is like the perfect irony. Like, because it just fits so well. 
But uh, oh, despite all of that, he's really spank contained. Yeah, uh, yeah. He was intimidating, I guess, visually. But yeah. So uh, this has been Milk, and this has been Trondi, and thanks for watching episode two. All right, peace out, Girl Scout. See you later. This actually makes it feel like an achievement. Jeez. I like this. You know, running through it with pugs and five people, it just, it really didn't feel like much of an achievement. But this is, this is something else, you know? This is really something mm -hmm. else. <coughs> I'm sure it's too bad we don't get the uh, random thing anymore. Yeah. Hell, we should get like three, considering...